What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto 2021 here, and welcome back to Five Nights of Warriors McDonald's 3, where we will be taking on Knights 3 and 4 in this video. So, without further ado, we'll take on Knight 3 and let's see what's offer for us. And we will be taking on Knight 3 in the trash can, like I said in the last video. LOL. I know, right? <laughs> It's a funny place to hide in the trash can and the recycle bin, but it's actually a smart move, though. Because it's a good defense. But anyways, let's hide in the trash can. Let's see what's has to offer for us. Alright, we get a phone call. Let's see. Hello. Hey, Edward. Have you found that money yet? No. Uh, I don't know why. I just can't find it. Oh, um, I'm kind of starting to doubt that it's even in there now. I'm not giving up just yet. I know it has to be here somewhere. Well, if you went through every room, then you would have found it at this point. But you didn't. Don't doubt me. I will find that money, and then we can be rich. I don't know, but just know that you are putting your life at risk because of Wario and the others. I'll be fine, because guess where I'm hiding? Um, where? In the trash can. The, the trash can? Actually pretty smart, although isn't it like very smelly in there? I was about to ask that question actually. Okay, but as for your defense, is there a lot of trash inside? Uh, not really. Ooh, okay, that's kind of bad. How come? So I was thinking that maybe you could throw trash at someone who is right in front of you in the trash. True, you could do that because that is a good defense. That's actually yeah, another good defense. Maybe screaming screaming at them. can scare them off when they don't expect it. Okay, so stare at someone if it works, and if they get here, then throw trash at them, and if staring doesn't work, then get here, then scream. Oh, yes, yes, that's correct. Okay, that seems simple, but there's one problem. What is it? My camera battery. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's going to be the problem yeah, because it has limited power. Okay, so we're in a trash bin, trash bin, and we have trash we can throw as a defense as well as screaming. So I'm guessing whoever comes from the corresponding side, we have to throw trash at them as well as screaming on the other side. Okay. Okay, so we're dealing with Ashley for night three, and then who else are we dealing with? Okay, so we're dealing with Ashley. I'm checking to see who else we're dealing with. Okay, we're also dealing with Yoshi. Okay. So we're going to be... Oh. Okay, so for Ashley, she will come to the right side. And if we see her there, then we have to scream at her to scare her off. Okay. And then I assume for Yoshi, we got to throw the trash, throw trash at him. Okay, so and I'm checking the cameras from time to time to track their movements. Ah! Okay, so for Yoshi, he will come to the left side and we have to throw trash at him. 
Ashley comes to the right side, and we have to scream at her when we see her. Okay. And then we have the camera to track their movements. Okay, Yoshi and Ashley, I saw, just moved. I saw them move. Okay, I saw Yoshi. There's ah! Ashley. That's a pretty, pretty loud scream, if you ask me. Okay, throw trash at Yoshi. I only have 13 pieces of trash to throw at Yoshi, which... I should have enough to last the whole night, but then again, what do I know? Okay, I see Ashley on the camera. Ah! Jesus, I hope I hope the, the guy I hope Edward Coleman doesn't get a sore throat or lose his voice from all that screaming. Cause he has to scream cause cause he has to scream at Ashley just to get rid of her. Alright, got rid of Yoshi. Let's go look for Ashley. Okay, there's Yoshi. Okay, I figured Ashley would be on the right side because I did not see her on the camera. I saw Yoshi on the camera. Oh, there's Yoshi. And Ashley. All right. So periodically, I'm checking the camera. And if it does run out of battery, then I won't be screwed because I can see Yoshi and Ashley through the trash can. So at least I won't be in trouble. Unless, of course, I run out of trash, that is. Because if I run out of trash for Yoshi, then I'm in trouble. But if the camera dies, then I'm not in trouble. Because Yoshi and Ashley, I can see through the trash can. Which is actually a good thing. Because then you'll have an alternative if you do use up all your camera battery. I threw trash in front of Yoshi. How did he jump scare me? I don't get how Yoshi jumped. That's got to be a bug. Because I threw trash at Yoshi. I threw the trash at Yoshi. How did he not get that? Yeah, at every hour periodically, I'm going to check the cameras to track their movements. You better hope you don't get a, lose your voice or get a sore throat from all that screaming. There you go. Threw it at Yoshi. I don't get how Yoshi still jump scared me when I threw trash at him. That doesn't make sense. That's clearly a bug. Oh, there's Ashley. And I saw Yoshi on the camera. Oh, there he is. I did see Yoshi on the camera. And I figured he was coming. I'm going to look for Ashley, though. There they are. I'll stare at them for as long as I can, because it'll slow them down. It won't slow them down much, but it'll slow them down a little bit. It doesn't fully slow them down, though. Ah! 
Okay, Ashley just came. I'm checking for Yoshi. Yoshi's getting close. So I gotta throw trash at him. Okay, Ashley. Yeah, I just saw Ashley. Okay, there she is. Yoshi. Okay. Okay, I saw Ashley. There's Yoshi. Okay. Alright, I couldn't find Yoshi for a second. I thought he was coming, but he's still on the cameras. Ashley went back to the cameras. Now she's back. And Yoshi's back. Okay, now we'll see where they went on the cameras. Okay, there's Ashley. Okay, there they are. They're still on the cameras. Well, they're back on the cameras, actually. Oh, there's Ashley. I see Yoshi. Ah! Ashley's back. Checking for Yoshi. Yep, there he is. Okay. Ashley. Yep, there she is. Okay. Ah! Okay, Yoshi. There he is. Okay. Okay, I found Yoshi. Ah! And Ashley came back. Okay. Ashley's in the bathroom and Yoshi's back. Yoshi's at the, the furnace. Okay, we're... Ashley? Okay, yeah, I, I just saw Ashley. There she is. Okay. Yoshi? Okay, he's coming close. Ah! There's Ashley. Okay, they're both here. Okay. Okay, they just went back there, okay. Ah! I only have four pieces of trash left. Hopefully I can still beat the night, though. Ah! Oh, Bastard's back. I don't see Yoshi, though. Oh, he's back, okay. So apparently they're later in the night, they don't go back to their starting spots. They just keep coming back. Oh, there's Ashley. Okay, I, I found Ashley on the camera. I don't see Yoshi yet, though. Oh, Yoshi's back. And night three completed. All right. So it was actually a pretty easy night hiding in the trash bin, which I'm glad it was easy hiding in the trash can because... Um, Night one was both tricky and confusing, but we beat it. Night two was stressful because of the bathroom. Just the whole mechanics in the bathroom and dealing with Mario and Luigi. Because Mario and Luigi were an issue in the boys' bathroom. But anyways, without further ado, we'll take on night four next. And let's see what has to offer for us. Okay, so we have two rooms to hide in. We either got the boiler room... Or we can hide in the hallway. Okay, I'm going to go with the boiler room because the boiler room, I believe, is a safer option than the hallway. Because for the hallway, you're out in the open. And someone can easily see you there. So we're going to go to the boiler room. And we get a phone call. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck happened to the phone guy? You know that. What you need to know is, thank you for coming back again. What the hell? Do you not remember what you did to us? What did you do to Max? Oh, your little buddy Max. I was just going to go over to where he is. Yeah, where's Max? Give him a little present for making fun with you much longer. Don't you dare. Oh, yes. If you want to save him, then give up searching for the money. No. The choice is yours. No. <laughs> Edward, wait, Max. Edward, it's me, Max. Wait, shh, don't talk too loudly. What, what, what is it? I'll explain soon, just don't talk too loudly. Okay, but what was all that about? Sorry, I was just hearing things. Oh, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm getting worried, Edward. I feel like you are searching all of this for nothing. I just, I just need to look around more. You've been looking everywhere for days. Calm down, I'll be fine, okay? Uh, okay, but where are you at? In some kind of boiler room. Oh, 
boiler, so like the furnace. Yeah, but it's kind of weird. It's like the heat and the cold is very strong. It starts to get hot and cold here really fast. Mm, okay, I might have an idea. If someone that is aggressive enters your room, then keep the heat <laughs> on until they go away. And if someone shy enters your room, then turn on the cool until they go away. So set it on heat for the aggressive person and set it cool for the shy person. Oh, and just for your safety, keep the temperature above 60 and below 90, only if you can. So just try to keep it above 60 and below 90 if I can? Yeah, you can do it. Just as long as you watch the temperature. Um, okay, I suppose I can do that. Okay, just please come back home. It's not worth looking anymore if you still haven't found it. Um, I'll see. Okay, good night. Good night. Okay, what's Yoshi doing on the ground? Okay. Okay, so we have a camera. Oh, I gotta get the heat on. Okay. Okay, so for... If anyone shy enters the room, we put on the cool setting. And for anyone who... Who... At, for any shy person who enters the room, we have to put it on the hot... The, oh! Okay, yeah, okay. I was trying to figure out what Yoshi was doing. Okay. The temperature was either below 60 or above 90 for too long that Yoshi woke up. Okay. So, for Yoshi, he will be asleep for this night. And if the temperature is above 90 or below 60, he will wake up and jump scare you. Okay. Got it. And then Luigi is the shy person, which means we have to... Which means we have to put, put the boiler on the cool setting. And then whoever aggressive is coming in, we have to put the boiler on the hot setting. And I don't know what that phone call was all about with a possessed person. Okay, we have we still have our camera of us, but we really don't need to check it this night because we have to constantly adjust the temperature because we have to keep it between 60 and 90. Okay, so Luigi just left because we put it on the cool setting. I wonder who's going to be the aggressive character we deal with. Okay, like I said, there's really no need to check the cameras for this night because I'm going to be constantly adjusting the thermostat for the boiler. Because we have Yoshi we're dealing with who's asleep. Up, oh, Mario. Okay, so for Mario, we have to turn the heat on since he is an aggressive character. For Luigi, we have to turn the air conditioner on since he is a shy character. And then for Yoshi, we have to keep the temperature between 60 and 90 degrees or else he'll wake up and kill us. Alright, so I understand how to deal with the characters. Alright. Oop, Luigi. Alright, I got it on the cool setting. Perfect. So we got to Luigi in time. All right, so night four is actually is actually pretty easy, just like with night three, since the mechanics are easier to understand. Because nights one and two, the mechanics were confusing to understand. Because night one, you had the curtain. Night two was the boy's bath. I was in the boy's bathroom, and the stall was the annoying part. Because you had to constantly bang on it and check the cameras while avoiding Mario.
Yeah, so for night four for the boiler room, we're dealing with Yoshi, Mario, and Luigi. Okay, yeah, I got the heat on, which I'm glad I did because Mario just can. Okay, Luigi, you gotta turn down the temp. Alright, almost hit 60, but I hit it just in time. Because I gotta not go over 90 degrees or below 60 degrees, otherwise Yoshi will wake up. Oh, Luigi, so get the air conditioner on. There we go. Up, Luigi. Okay, Mario, gotta get the heat on. Okay. Now we're bringing it back down because it just went past 90. Okay, Mario, get the heat on. There we go. This mechanic for the boiler room definitely reminds me of Night 6 and um, Find Out the Smudgers 4, where you gotta constantly adjust the thermostat for um, Davenger. Because in that game, you had to constantly adjust it for Davenger. And Night 4 completed. All right. Okay, so we will take on night five in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Go follow me on TikTok, and be sure to hit the bell to get all notifications of upcoming videos on there as well. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.